ABC7's New Mexico Mobile Newsroom found out students from more high schools attended a secret prom in Las Cruces. A concerned parent sent us these photos. They show hundreds of students attending the event. The old CPS superintendent told us the majority of students were from Mayfield, but admitted there were students from other high schools as well. The parent told us there were students from Centennial and Las Cruces High. LCPS returned to in-person learning just last week. Mayfield High School switched back to online classes for the next few days to prevent any potential spread of COVID-19. Even though students from other schools attended the prom, LCPS has not announced a return to remote learning for other campuses. And that secret event made us wonder what El Paso high schools are doing when it comes to prom. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips spent the day working to find out, and she joins us live. Rachel. Steph, it's a mixed bag when it comes to what El Paso school districts are doing about prom. But for all El Paso high school students, there is another option. We started getting a lot of calls um, from parents and students that really wanted to host a prom, so we decided to take it upon ourselves to go ahead and plan a senior prom for them. Those calls were because some schools have already made a decision about prom. ABC7 reached out to local school districts. EPISD and YSD will not be holding proms. Socorro will be, but it will be on a smaller scale, and San Elizario is undecided as of now. However, Grace Gardens has taken it into their own hands to organize a prom for any 2021 high school senior. I think it's very important for everyone to exp experience their senior prom. It's something that you'll carry on memories for a lifetime. The prom will be held outdoors. There will be two pavilions by the ponds, two dance floors and two DJs. The venue says everything will be spaced out. There will be sanitizing stations and temperatures will be checked upon arrival. But face masks will not be mandatory. We are leaving it up to every um, guest individually. So we are recommending we are going to have um, extra face coverings available if anybody wants to go ahead and use one. Um, but it's not required. It's highly recommended. Grace Gardens can accommodate 3,000 guests, but to ensure the health and safety of everyone, they will only be allowing about 1,000 students. We definitely do think that we are taking all the safety measurements necessary in order to host this event. We don't have proms back in Australia, but from what I'm told, this will be a prom like no other, completely outdoors and with a mixture of schools in attendance. We have all the information for this prom on our website at kva.com for those of you at home who want to attend and feel as though it is safe to do so. Steph and Eric, were your proms a night to remember? Oh yeah, it was just a long time ago, but it's certainly memorable <laughs> at the time that it happened, Rachel. It's, it's too bad that you didn't have one. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, they were a lot of fun. We actually had junior prom right? I grew up too. Oh wow. I, I asked when I came here, I said, is that a thing? No. Oh, just senior prom. <laughs> we had junior prom, senior prom. So we got two. Wow. Or I guess we were lucky.